Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Risk of Rain 2. Full version. Finally came out. Super awesome. We're doing... We're a few... We're a little bit into it. Let's get that. I don't want to get that key. Pretty excited. We're gonna try to... We're gonna try to beat, uh... Beat the final boss today. We'll see about that. It it was I, I attempted it myself. Really tough, really tough. Even on even on Drizzle. Very important to note. <laughs> um, so we're gonna give that a shot today. We'll see about it. Um, this may actually be one episode. We'll also find out about that. It depends on how I feel about it. Um, so I may have you know cut out the in between bit. Um, if you do want to see more of this, you know, series, you want to see other aspects and stuff, maybe, uh, see what else the game has available, you know, let me know in the comments. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, it's good to know what you guys think. It's definitely good to know what you think. Alright, it is important to note that this run we're doing, we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do straight into... Straight to the boss. So we're not gonna do any. I don't want to do any, any looping. It just takes too long, you know. Uh, don't want to do any looping, um, mostly because it takes a while. And I want to see if we can get get to the final boss. Well, it's still a reasonable difficulty, and, and see if that actually makes a difference for us. Check out to see if there's anything, if I didn't, anything I missed up here. Couldn't hurt to have a little extra cash. Make sure we don't do that. Okay, there we go. That will be... Ooh! Oh, yeah! Two extra charges of our utility skill. That means we can dash three times that that will be extremely useful I didn't explain this in the last episode but you know different different items have different rarities so this is a common item you know the ones of the white border are con common um, green is you know uh, rare and then uh, the red ones are actually it's it's Common, uncommon, and then the red ones are rare, and then there's even yellow ones, which I believe are legendary. And you only ever get those from, I think, bosses. And this is an example of that shrine that I was talking about. You know, the last one we had was the golden shrine that unlocked the gold orb, so we could go fight the, uh, I uh, can't even remember what it was called, the Aurelian whatever. The gold golem. Oh, it's on the other side. All right. There's a chest over there. A pot for a little extra cash. Boom. Eh, that's kind of worthless. Let's see. I don't see anything over there to grab. So I'm not terribly worried about checking this out. Let's checking that out, rather. Sprint even faster! Crazy! We got the crowbar. That's nice for initial, initial that first initial hit on enemies. Adds a bunch of extra damage. The boomerang, unfortunately, isn't useful against single enemies. You really have to have a group, because otherwise it doesn't bounce. There's an example right there. Does a lot. It does a fair amount of damage. Though. Oh, crap. Okay. What the? Are you just blue for whatever reason? Alright, I'm gonna grab the, uh... Question mark. War banner. Eh. 
useful if you stick around in a certain place for a long time. Which could be a good tactic. Could be a good tactic for a build. There's a teleporter. There's a chest. Ooh. And there's different sizes of chests. This one's gonna be one that will give you an uncommon item. Um, at the very least. You know, every chest has like the random, uh, you know, random chances of dropping, you know, higher rarity items. Now, there is, this is an item vending thing. Let's see if there's something that we want to get more than that. Crowdfunder, I think we'll stick with what we've got. Oop, there we go, let's grab that. Now let's see... Anything down here? No, let's jump right over to this last area. Screwed that up, but I recovered it nicely, so that worked out. Screwed it up real bad, but came back from it. I don't even think there is anything over here. That's that's a that's a that's unfortunate. So one last little area I want to check out here, just in case. We got that we got that common item that was the key. There is now in every stage that we go into one chest that's different from the others. It's basically just it's a lockbox. It's exactly what it is. It's just a little metal lockbox that you'll find like wedged in the ground usually. But now that we have that key, we can unlock it for free. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to grab that. So we sacrificed the Prion Accumulator to get this Equipment Drone. And the Equipment Drone will occasionally use that. Now we're gonna go get... Another piece of equipment. Get this cube right here, which is the Primordial Cube. Does as it said, fires a black hole. It's pretty cool, actually. Alright, let's activate the Teleporter right now. Ooh, the Dune Strider. Dune Strider! We're gonna use that black hole immediately. And there's the, uh, there's our golem friend. Appeared so he can kick the crap out of things for us. Gotta love it. Now this Dune Strider's sucking us in right now. It's kind of terrifying. Take him down. Boom, and done. Okay. Let's grab our reward. Ah, oh, here's a yellow one. Meyer to earn. This is actually a new one. Siphon health from nearby characters while in combat. I actually don't know what that means. And I do have to remember that this guy is not an enemy. He's a friend of mine. Who's going to help us out? Who's going to help us kill things? 66%. This is what, stage three or four? All right. Sorry, I had to check my timer there. Now, while you're in the teleport, when you're when you've activated the teleporter, any tele uh, any 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 things that you would purchase or activate outside the teleporter's range are deactivated. But if they're inside, you can still, you know, get the chest or, you know, whatever. But uh, otherwise, it will be covered with a little uh, shield until you... Okay, so we were on three. Now we're on four. It was, it'll be covered with a little shield until you uh, finish the teleporter event. All right. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, where are you at, friend? There we go. Yeah, the bandolier is pretty nice if you have a lot of heavy duty, high, high uh, cooldown rate or high cooldown skills, because then you can you can use them basically immediately kill an enemy, and then if they drop the ammo pack, it'll and the cooldowns will absolutely disappear, which is great. All right, let's see if we can figure out where we want to go here. Let's get these items. What is happening? Oh, that's a that's a that's a worm, isn't it? Yep, that there it is. Yep. Okay. Mag magma worm. Dangerous boss. Let's use the black hole. Alright. Oh, you're not dead? I could have sworn I killed you. Or, or there's two of them. That's the thing that happens. Yeah, so as the difficulty goes up, there's, a, there's always a chance of uh, fighting boss-type enemies as regular... regular enemies. Done and done. Dealt with that guy. Oh! Pick this guy up. This is a missile drone, I believe. Yep, there we are. Let's grab that. We got some money to spend. Nothing from it, and that's out of our price range. That's too bad. Alright, so this over here, this is a combat shrine. This doesn't cost anything to activate. But you do have to fight something. And usually, like, harder versions of enemies. You get elite versions of monsters. That you have to deal with. Um, which, by the way, you, those, those elite monsters will spawn normally. I, I believe you've, you've... I'm certain you've seen some already. Actually, I know exactly you've seen some already. The ones that explode, the ice, that kind of thing. Yeah, those are the ones. All a combat shrine really does, I believe, is activate enemies so that you can fight more. Ooh, another drone. Grab that bad boy. Pop that open, activate that. Another Gore's Tome, very nice. Another bandolier, alright, and that's done with that. Okay. All right, let's get a higher vantage point. I want to see if um, we can see anything that has not been. Activated yet? All right. There we go. Nothing. Can be kind of a waste at times, as you can see right here. We're getting a lot of money, though, from uh, Gorst Home. There we go. All right, let's move on up. Oh, we can't. Can't buy anything yet. No point in doing that. Now, these guys... Those guys, you won't fight on any other stages until you fight them on this stage. Then they will, you know, start... They, then they can start spawning if you do another loop around. If you go back to through sta the stage one areas and, and, and so forth. All right. There's a... There's an elite right there. There's, a, there's actually an achievement that, that's related to these guys. Speaking of achievements, there are, I believe, 
there are kind of challenges that you can do, and I believe those are actually they actually do end up being achievements as well for uh, like Steam. Um, but the challenges are, you know, relating to doing a certain amount of damage, or you know, being a certain character for a length of time, or you know, getting through a certain amount of stages and stuff. Those will actually unlock. Oh, here's the lockbox. Nice, nice. Another ukulele. Those will unlock the chance of items appearing, certain items appearing. So, um, you don't the the pool of items that you can get in this game. It's 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 constant. Um, but you do have to unlock them first, or a lot of them first. Some will, you know, start in their normal, you know, in the normal pool. But for the most part, you do actually have to do certain things to activate them. All right, let's see. I think we got everything in this area. Ooh, there we go. Drones are always extremely helpful. We need to deal a little bit of extra damage, you know? Alright, let's get that. Yeah, I've never been really big on the, the stealth kit, so that's kind of like... That's one of the things that I would probably tend toward scrapping. If I were given the opportunity. Let's grab this. Nice. Oh, that's right, we don't have enough cash for that. I also realized we haven't gone up yet. We have to go up. Let's see if there's anything fun up here. Mm, nothing too much to speak of right now. Oh. There we go. Well, that's helpful. Alright. You know, I'm actually just gonna... I think we're just gonna activate it right now. Let's get this party started. Alright, this is a little dangerous. Thankfully, we have that friend over there. We'll really deal some damage. It is mayhem right now. Look at this mess. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, there's still a boss down there. Okay. We don't have the range that we need. We unfortunately have to deal with them outside of the range. There we go. Nice, leeching seed. This is going to be very useful. Oh, oh we were inside the uh, blast radius of one of those glacial punks. Unfortunately, for the uh, fire rate of this character, we, for the leeching seed to be really useful, we have to be using something that hits often. Are you attacking me? What is going on? So that's the other. That's another character that you can activate, but you have to do something special. You have to go, and the little pod that you get dropped in, that most characters get dropped dropped in, I should be clear, uh, has a little battery pack on the back, and you have to grab that, and it counts as a use item, so it fills up your use item slot, and uh, you have to bring it here without taking more than 50% of your health, with, with, without dropping below 50% of your health, otherwise you die. You have to bring it there, activate it. All right, this, this is the last area, and I, I predict we might have a little bit of trouble with the boss, because we don't have any really big mobility items. It's kind of a bummer. 
We don't have the uh, the hapu feather, which gives you a double jump. What the hell is going on over yonder? What are you fighting? Where are you at, friend? Friend? Alright, let's get a higher vantage point here. It's actually really cool. This is this stage. I believe this is the only stage available for first. This is the only actual stage available for stage five. You always come to the same place. Um Oh, there we go. Stealth kit activated. That was pretty useful there. This stage, I believe, is kind of like a carbon copy from the first game. Not actually, because the first game was a 2D side-scrolling uh, kind of shoot-em-up brawler sort of thing. But it has the same aesthetics, that sort of, sort of deal. Nice. These little fungal guys, they will take damage up to a certain point and then they'll sneak under the ground and try to heal themselves. It's a bit frustrating. All right, let's see how much we can get for... Ooh, that. I want that. For every enemy we kill, we get an extra point of health. Uh, up to 100 points. I don't actually know how that stacks, though. We lost our equipment drone. Damn. Ooh, missed it. Son of a bitch! Alright. Damn it! Missed it again. Where are you at? Let's just stay up here. Another bandolier, another whip. Or another... Oh no, that's not a bandolier, that's a razor wire. We do want that. Have enemies take damage when they hit us? Uh, yes please. Ooh, healing bot. That will be helpful. There's a couple chests down here. Grab both of them. There we go. Hapu feather and a goat hood. hoof. Goat hood hoof is probably my second favorite favorite common item. There we go. We got our second jump in. Let's find some enemies we can put down. So we can get that sweet reward sweet rewards. Oh, there's that guy too. Good god. So there appears to be another drone over here that we wanna Ah damn. Well, let's go take care of that guy. Hail and well met, friend! That didn't work the way I wanted it to. We weren't supposed to fall through the hole, man. There we go. Done and done. Missile drone, very nice. There's usually a good amount of stuff, like, uh, peppered uh, run along that area. That has changed. Alright, so this is the uh, the teleporter that we want to get to, too. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to show off the artifact area. It'd add a lot of time, and I think we really want to get to uh, checking out the boss. So I think we'll actually just clean out. This area. 
You know, actually, I will show off where it is. Oh, nice. I don't know what that means. But actually, too, if you're wondering what something means, there is there is a little thing in the main menu that, that you can look through, like, the encyclopedia. And it will tell you exactly what each item does. All right, let's, let's head down here. Oh. I was always under the impression that you just had to straight up drop down here. Oh. Okay. This is bad. I don't think we can get back up. Let's see if we can get back up. So yeah, falling to your death. Okay, good. So that area that we were looking at down there, the, the part that was across that large expanse, that was where you'd want to go if you were going to unlock any artifacts. Artifacts are things that you can activate and do persi persist between games. Another, another jump feather? Yeah, let's do it. Like that's one of the one of the things that actually persists between games. Um, but yeah, this is a, otherwise a a roguelike a roguelite kind of game where if you die, you have to start over from the beginning. Like you're at level one, you're at the first stage, you no time on the clock, that sort of thing. Beautiful. All right, let's go unlock this guy. Now we're going to bail on you. We're going to get that flip out of here. Is there anything even of interest up here? None that I can see. Holy hell. All right. You're not, you're not very nice, Mon Frere. This may end my death, which would be really sad. So basically, I'm gonna stay away from that guy for right now. Where you at, bro? Where did you go? He fell down, didn't he? What a doofus. What a maroon. You fall down or you dead? Huh. Ooh, nice. Nice. I haven't been getting tougher times very much. Not recently, anyway. Not not in recent uh, playthroughs. Ah, well. Leeching Seed. That's... We want that. That's the thing we want. And you're just kind of stuck, it looks like. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. Ooh, there's... Ooh. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that was too far. All right, where are you? There you at? Get a flame drone. Going. I was heading towards somewhere. Where was I going? Where was I going at? Well, there we go. Another gore's tome, another hapu feather. Or random, and we don't have enough cash for it, so I don't know why I'm trying. Okay, so we got triple jump. That's good. That will work in our favor. All right, we do want to clear this out real quick. Get what we need out of this. Nice.
So that extra equipment charge, that's the use item, I believe. So when you pick that up, uh, you see it has a one over it now. Now we can use it twice. Basically, now I just have to remember where the damn teleporter is. Oh, there it is. We're right in the center there. Well, that's nice. Very helpful. And I think see anything fun. Let's check that area over there. It's like, I did go up here already, didn't I? Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I did. And I missed that one. Alright, good deal. We are... set, I think, within reason. Did I see something up here? Yeah, I did, I did. This punk down. All right, let's head over to this. Now, like I said, you can actually interact with this part on the outside. That shifts the teleporter destination. We want it to go to the end game and not back to the beginning. So let's get this party started. I do want to say. Probably gonna die in the final boss. Like, absolutely a real possibility. Even though, and I, I was talking about the difficulty increasing. That's based on the set difficulty at the beginning. So you can, you, you know, I have it set to drizzle, which is the easiest base difficulty. Okay, are you actually attacking me, bro? Is there, like, friendly fire or something? What's going on? Alright, let's grab that. Nothing great. Stealth kit is alright. I don't know what that is over there, but it's blocked off. Alright, let me actually attack things. It is one nice thing about uh, having to stay in the teleporter radius and it locking things, is that it will... Are you actually... Okay, you're just attacking at random. But you're not doing damage to me. Good to know. The one thing about the teleporter event and having to stay in the radius and it locking other things is it does make the things that you may have missed very visible in the distance. Did want to check that out just to see. Oh, nope. all right, we're good. I don't even think that was the right thing, but whatever. All right, let's get to it. Let's try this out. Let's see where we get to. Feel like this might be more trouble than it's worth. All right, so. My biggest downfall, I think, when I started this was I spent a whole lot of time exploring. This is really just a big empty room. From what I could tell. It may actually be something. There may be, like, hidden stuff around here. But from what I can gauge, for the most part, it's nothing special. Now we got our final stage enemies here. Now, enemies that are here are not going to be enemies that you're used to seeing.
I'm very much thinking we might get our butts kicked. I mean, these guys are not meant to be easy. By any stretch of the imagination. And that, that is definitely being proven. Come on, baby, get close enough. I need you to be close enough so that I can damage y'all at the same time, please. Boom, 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 baby. Now, as far as I can tell, too, there isn't a lot, if anything, to actually spend your money on in this area you might want to if you have a bunch of drones though you might want to stock up a little on a little bit of cash just in case you need to revive them Ooh. there is a lockbox however that's nice make us a little faster That's an extremely dangerous attack, I want to say. It hits you real hard. Alright, so I did do some exploring. Like I said, when I was doing this myself and it was just wasting time. Over there, you can buy um, things with your lunar coins, like lunar item, uh, special lunar items. And on this side, you can actually expend um, other items to get upgraded versions. So you can get... Uh, you can spend, spend items to get uncommon or rare items. But it, it you're spending a random... You're spending a certain amount of random items that you already have, so that's that's a thing. You're not you're not paying cash for it. All right, let's get all these guys together. So our uh, glaive boomerang thing is actually really useful. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Woo! That was scary. That was very scary. Did I get any any bounces? No, oh, damn it. He's not close enough. Just kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, I don't I'm fairly certain there's nothing really else to, to check out. But you know, if you come back if you if you play this yourself, definitely go exploring. It's very interesting terrain. Alright, we're gonna go for it. Let's give it a shot. Up to the arena. To take on The final boss. Mithrix, king of nothing! Extremely dangerous king of nothing! And I think I was right. I think the, uh... It may not seem like much now, but, you know, he does a lot of damage. And if you don't have the mo- Oh, God. So I wanna, you didn't see what went down there, but he did a...
he did a, like a sky drop sort of dragoon, a Final Fantasy dragoon sort of thing, where he dropped down in the middle and did a huge blast wave around, uh, a shock wave throughout the entire arena. Oh hell. That sent us flying. Yes, indeed. Oh, he's doing it again, I think. There it is. Yeah, you want to stay out of the range of that. Basically, it, you know, it's a shockwave. It goes through the entire arena. You want to make sure you jump over it if you can. Ah, oh, poop. Well, you didn't stay in the right place, friend. Oh, here it goes. Nice thing is, we know where he's gonna be. All right. Now a bunch of pillars drop from the sky. A bunch of extra enemies. We gotta take care of. I wanna be clear, I was saving the primordial cube for this part. Is though I believe it does damage. It's also incredibly useful for getting enemies to stick together. Lunar Chim Chimera! Nice! Get 15 boss monsters in a single run. I wonder, do they all count as bosses? Is that what's up? Unfortunately, we only have the one guy to deal with, so... Oh, oh, nope, there are two. Damn. Oh. Are you healing? Are you healing or something, punk? I'm not okay with that. I'll have you know... Zenith Designs, huh? At least he ain't paying attention to me, I guess. Alright, so we deal with these punks. Damage is done. Now we deal with Mythrix again. Now a little bit more powered up. That was not a useful attack. It is now because there's enemies around to actually take the other hits. Ooh, shit. Oh, he doing it again? Oh yeah, there's that. This is what killed me last time. One of our drones is down. Let's go ahead and heal him up. Let's fire this off and see if it does anything. Huh. I think it does draw him in. That's useful. Let's get another one going. Launch that. Get that rain of arrows going on him. Holy hell. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Whew, that was scary as hell. Okay, good. Okay, you're gonna take... You're gonna take my... You're gonna take my shit away from me now. Okay. That is not okay. You giving it back to me like all slow like? What's the deal here? Nice. Looks to be the case. Thankfully he didn't take my drones from me. 
you punk ass bitch. This is definitely as far as I've gotten. This is uh, further than I've gotten. You done, son. You have been wrecked. That's good. A little longer than, than I wanted for the episode, but... Moon de detonation imminent. What the happy hell? Okay, so we, now we gotta get the hell out of here. One point six kilometers away. That's a distance, my friend. That is a distance to go. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. I don't think I should even worry about fighting him. Oh, I just realized it's raining. <laughs> yeah, so those enemies, uh, those ones that are appearing, those are enemies that will appear from time to time when the when it's getting a lot higher in difficulty. Like it is right now. We're almost in the final level of difficulty. Which I believe actually still gets difficult over time, but I think... Um, it, it just increases stats and stuff. Nice! Oh, damn it! Alright, there we go. Nice, gotta get to the dropship. Wait, what the hell? Where did you guys come from? Nice. Very nice. Oh, the moon just disappears. Okay. This is dope. This is dope. I like this. Roll credits. And so she left. Her soul still remaining on the planet. Ah, oh, shit. Nice. And roll credits. Yeah, this is a super, uh, super tight game. I really like this game. Um... I really like the first one. This this is just a, a big, you know, a huge three-dimensional improvement, you know, an extra dimension. Is that... <laughs> what is that? What is that? Some, some breathing fire here? That's pretty tight. Yeah, it's a pretty small team. It's such a good game. I wonder if these are actual sketches by people who made it. Additional develop development by Ghost Punch, huh? 3D artist. Wonderful. So yeah, we'll let we'll let this scroll through. But uh definitely if you guys want to see more of this game, you want to see like, you know, maybe getting characters or what have you, that sort of thing. Or just more playthroughs. Higher difficulties, whatever. Uh artifacts. Absolutely, keep me posted. You know, throw me, a, drop me a line in the comments. Love to hear what you think about that. Or you know, the usual. If you got any games you want to see me play, or any tips or tricks, that sort of thing, drop me a comment as well. Um, like, subscribe. You know that deal. That whole business always helps out. It really does. 
um, primarily just watching. You just having you watching this right now, that works. That's that's like the like that's the thing that probably makes the most difference. And honest, uh, in, in honest, honestly, just having you here, having you watching, makes the most difference to me. I really appreciate it. It's really great to have you here. It was a lot of fun playing through this game, and I love playing other games for you, like uh, Starbound and all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, and if you if you're if you are like I said if you were I said in the last video I think I, if you're feeling feeling generous if you have the uh, the means and it's not going to put you out financially you know throw me a couple bucks on the main page uh, there's some donation options co uh, uh, coffee buy me a coffee basically <laughs> in the in the in the links section or, or uh, up by the banner at the top of the page for the uh, the channel. Uh, but definitely don't feel obligated. I know that kind of stuff is real tight by na right now, and and like I said, literally anything you do, including watching, helps out. So it's just great to have you here, and for all the help you guys uh, give, all the support. It's been fantastic. Love having you guys here. Seventeen uncles, huh? Shy guy, gaming gothic. Gary T. Powered by WYs. Huh. And if we don't do more of this, of the full version of the game, you could always, and, and you're disappointed about that, you can always check out, um, you know, I, I did a bunch of earlier episodes and early releases of the game, so you can check those out. And I did some of the, the I did some of the original Risk of Rain as well. So if you want to check that out, it's, uh, I highly recommend it. And if you do like this game, play the first one. Absolutely play the first one. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit different, but um, from the from a 2D standpoint, but it's got a lot of the same, a lot a whole lot of the same ideas. Yes, you! Thank you! Yeah, thanks for watching, and, and thanks to uh, Hapu Games, and Gearbox, and all them for making this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game. All right, so we got that. I got killed by the planet. I don't know what's happening right now. Whole lot of business. It's a weird sound artifact. We unlocked several things. All right, and we got Cosmic Explorer, which I believe. Oh no, nope, washed away. So we got a new character too, which is pretty cool. We got the Captain, and I've never seen, never played. I'm super excited, but yeah. Anyway, that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the, um, all your support, and it's great having you here. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.